Now, what is FBA or fulfillment by Amazon? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Randy, back with another video. And as you guys saw at the beginning clip of this video, I was watching a video on retail arbitrage. It was talking about just what is Amazon FBA. So I decided that I'm actually gonna start retail arbitrage because it seems like something interesting to me. Like last night or yesterday, pretty much like for the second half of my day, I was literally just watching straight videos on retail arbitrage and it seemed really interesting to me, like going out, finding a product and selling it on eBay. However, the reason I'm making videos on this is because obviously like well, I post stuff on YouTube and second of all is because a lot of people when they show stuff on YouTube, you only ever see them when they're already big. You don't see them when they're small, when they're starting off. You only see them when they've already made the hundreds of thousands of dollars, the millions of dollars on what they have been doing. They never show you the start to finish and that's what I'm here to show you guys. That video that I was watching, it was a guy on YouTube. He has like a free program where he shows you how to flip books on eBay, or I'm sorry, on Amazon. I learned a few things from watching his videos. As far as the course went, it was free. It was really old videos and I only watched a certain point and I figured like, if he figured things out back in the day, I'm pretty sure I can figure things out now. I mean, it'd be easier to watch his videos, but I wanna figure it out and show that it's possible that anybody can do this, starting from any standpoint in their life. You could know the most about Amazon you can know the least I kind of know a little bit like I understand the concept but I don't exactly I mean I've seen him do it so I guess I know that much you can literally look up videos on retail arbitrage and people will show you how they do it I'm sure there's more that goes behind it as to like shipping it packaging it taking off labels and all that stuff and then shipping it to Amazon for FBA so it's a lot that goes into it but I feel like anything you do is gonna take work so the first thing you have to do obviously if you want to be a seller on Amazon you have to sell on Amazon you have to be a seller on Amazon so what I want to do is I'm gonna go on Google well, that's what I'm on right now. So I'm gonna type in sell on Amazon, which obviously according to like SEO, it should be pretty obvious that it's gonna take me to amazon.com here on Google. Oh shoot, you guys can even see what I'm doing. But anyways, I'm gonna click here. I'm sorry if I can't show you the screen share, it just makes it easier if I do this. And look, it says start selling on Amazon, start selling online actually, sell on Amazon, whatever. It's $39.99 a month plus additional selling fees. So what we're gonna do is create an Amazon account. And obviously here you wanna fill out when you create your account, your name, your email and password. I'm not gonna show you guys that because I don't want you guys to take my information or whatever. Okay, so once you pass that first page, you're gonna get here where it says seller agreement. Uh, set up your Amazon selling account, have the following available, your business name, mobile telephone number, uh, chargeable credit card, valid bank account, and tax information. So basically, they're gonna this is gonna go on your taxes because you're making money. Uh, legal name, you're gonna put your legal name, or here it says, if registering as an individual seller, enter your full name. If registering as a business, enter the business registered name and your full name. For example, Seller Inc., which is the name of the company, dash John Smith. But obviously, I'm not, and I'm a business for this. I'm doing this pretty much as freelancing and as my own little entrepreneurial career. And I'm gonna put my personal name, and then obviously you have to click this after, and then hit next. On the second step, it asks you for your cell information, so it says, tell us about your business, which is your address, uh, your city, obviously, your whole address, whatever. Uh, choose your unique business display name, whatever that is. Your business display name is displayed with your Amazon listings and your seller profile. You can change this name at any time by clicking. So it doesn't matter what you make it now, you can always change it. You can just make it your name or, I guess, some kind of little business name, whatever you want your name to pop up as on Amazon. I'm assuming that's what it is. If you sell your products online, enter your... It's optional, so if you have products online, you can enter it. If not, you don't have to. Select an option to receive your PIN. I always like text messages over calls because it's faster. And then you put your phone number. I'm um, obviously one in English, then text me now. And then it's probably gonna ask you for a verification code. You type it in, hit next, and then it goes to the next step. So after you hit next, you're gonna go to the third page, which is a billing deposit page. You gotta set up your billing method. The reason I'm covering this is because my address does show up there, but pretty much you gotta put your card number and you gotta put your name that's on the card. And then once you scroll down here, it's gonna ask you to set up your deposit method. So every time you get paid, it sends right to your bank account. So down here, which let me scroll down real quick. All you have to do is type in your name and routing number and then your account number twice then hit next. So then it's all saved into the system. So once you finish the first three steps, the fourth step is tax information. Here it says provide your tax information, add your tax information and validate your W-9 or W-8B and I have a W-9, I'm pretty sure. A tax interview is required to allow your products to be purchased by Amazon customers. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start. I don't know what's gonna be the next screen, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave that out. Pretty sure it's self-explanatory from there. 
Uh, you guys have to do an interview online, hopefully. Hopefully they don't call you or anything because that would just take way too long and we're trying to get started today. So on the tax information page, it pretty much asks you who will receive income from Amazon or subsidiary, whatever. For US tax purposes, are you a US person? Uh, then it asks you for identity information such as your name, business or trade name, your address, and your social or your ITN or EIN, depending if you have a business or not. I know I said that pretty fast, but I'm trying to get through this as fast as possible because this is pretty much the relevant stuff that nobody really wants to see, but it's... Uh, required so i mean i could just cut it out but i'd rather you guys see the whole process of how i'm gonna do this whole retail arbitrage thing and actually as soon as i submitted that form it says validated your tax information has been received and successfully validated applicable without withholding rate i don't know what that means but it's in a green box so it looks good so on the very last page after you finish the first four steps which is a fifth step it asks you for product information. It says, tell us about your products. It asks you questions such as, do you have universal product codes, UPCs, whatever. Do you own your own brand? Would you like to, would you also like to target business buyers by nearly business features? How many different products do you plan to list? I'm just going to go ahead and skip for now. I think you can do that. And it says, tell us about your product categories. You can also add or edit. I'm going to go ahead and skip that now. I don't think we need that. I'm trying to get done with this as soon as possible, like I said. And it looks like we're pretty much done. It says, before we activate your seller account, please help us verify your identity. Select your country and business located. You will not, whatever. I don't know what this is. I'm going to go and finish it myself because I don't know if there's going to be any private information there. But then I'm going to go through you guys everything else after that. All right. So on the identity verification page, they ask you for pretty much your name, your date of birth, your identity data, such as your driver license or passport. You put the expiration date, the country of issue, or I think state, whatever it asks you for here. Uh, then you got to upload your license or your passport picture i think the front and back so that's for license for the passport i think it's just the front and then an additional document such as in a bank account statement such as your credit or debit card statement doesn't matter you do have to upload some pictures to prove it to you i guess anyways i'm pretty much think i'm done it says we have received your information and may reach out to you for further clarification within two business days but as of now, it didn't even like kick me off the page or anything. So I think I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and download the app on my phone, the Amazon seller app, of course, and then log in and see what it lets me do. So just to show you guys, what you have to do is you go to the Amazon or well, app store. Then you go to search, type in Amazon seller. I already downloaded it before. I'm just doing it again to show you guys for demonstration purposes. Uh, battery's low, uh, I don't like low power mode. So then you go ahead and open it, cancel. While well, you guys got my emails, go ahead and email me. I really don't check those. That's why they're not <laughs> logged in. Then Amazon seller, you go to United States. Since that's where I'm from, depends where you guys are from, might be different. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try to log in. All right, so actually I just got the same message that I got on my phone as I did on the laptop. And it says, thank you for your request. We have received ident information and may reach out to you for further clarification within two business days. So I guess what that means is that now I have to wait at least at the most two days to start selling. However, I'm not gonna wait because I know I'm gonna get accepted. Like there should be no reason they shouldn't accept me because all my information is correct. So what I'm gonna do is I downloaded the Spotify app, which I also saw that was a good app to use from other people. However, you can't just log in or you can't just create an account from here. You have to, I guess, get inventory lab in order to get this for free because it just, there's nothing to do here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go online, try to get inventory lab because obviously at the end of the day, that's gonna make my job way easier. It's gonna cost me a certain fee a month, but in the end it's gonna be worth it because it's gonna be something I'm gonna be doing and it's gonna make my job a lot easier. And obviously you wanna kind of like make it a breeze because if you start logging packages one by one, it just gets a lot more hectic and it's easier to have it all in one apparently, that's what they say. It's all in one file and it just kind of helps you load stuff onto Amazon. So now we're gonna go ahead and just close this tab over here because I don't need that. Obviously, I gotta wait now. So we're gonna go ahead and type in inventory lab. We go here, inventory lab home. I guess you can try for free, I guess. Wow, it's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and try for free. I guess you gotta fill your information again and all that. Start your 30 day free trial. Please provide the following information and we'll get the ball rolling. So that's a good part. So once you sign up for inventory lab, it sends you to this page after you verify your email. You gotta log in again. It says you will not be redirected to Amazon so that you can authorize the inventory lab access to resources in your seller account so you hit okay and we don't have a seller account so i don't think we can do this just yet either but let's see what happens so if we hit okay it's going to take us back to the amazon seller page on amazon which obviously we can't do anything just yet so i guess right now we are pretty much stuck and we have to wait until amazon accepts us to be an amazon seller what I'm gonna try to do right now is try to find another app or something that I can find Amazon pretty much the same thing as like Scottify or the Amazon seller app 
I'm sure there has to be more resources. They might not be as good, but they're gonna be somewhat helpful, you know? So we'll go ahead and try to look for that. And I'll go ahead and keep you guys updated on that. All right guys, so I know that yesterday I was looking for an app and part of the video I'm actually editing right now. And I forgot to mention that last night I found an app when I was just watching a random video. It's called Profit Bandit. I don't think you remember. Well, it already changed screens, but it's called over here. It's called Profit Bandit. You can see it right next to my thumb. You open it and you don't need an Amazon seller account. Honestly, you can just go ahead and straight taking pictures, you see? So as you guys can see, you can take pictures there and you can start scanning barcodes. So what you can do is start going to stores. Oh my freaking God. So what you can do is start going to stores and scanning items and see what you can sell for a profit. So I wish I could show you guys an example, but this app definitely works. It's just, it's just like Scoutify the, well, Scoutify really. And it even gives you a calculator to see how much you're gonna be making profit. So I definitely recommend you guys to start using that and go out and buy your products even before you become a seller because I mean, hopefully if you do everything right, you're gonna become a seller. If not, you just have to make another account and try again. And there should be no reason they should deny you unless you have like some fraud on your account, who knows? But there really should be no reason they should deny you. So you should be accepted. So I recommend that on your first day that you guys start applying for everything, start going out and buying these products that you guys find are profitable through that app. Ow, you mean get off. I recommend that you guys go to stores where you can return stuff because if you can't return it and you bought it and you can't become a seller, then you're pretty much screwed unless you go and sell it on eBay. So definitely go ahead, start today. Well, today seems like it's the first video. It's really the next day right now, but start on your first day, get it going, get the ball rolling and start making that money. Guys, and this is what I mean by when YouTubers don't show you everything. As you guys can see, they tell, they make it seem so easy by just saying, go ahead and sign up for an account, apply for all these categories, and then go ahead and start selling. It's really not that simple. Like, this is the steps they don't show you, which is what I'm showing you guys, which I think is kind of BS for them to do that, but obviously, that's why I'm here, save the day.